Only on News 5, rain is being blamed for frequent sewer overflows in Robertsdale. One couple says they've had enough. As WKRG News 5's Blake Brown found out, city leaders acknowledge the unsanitary conditions, but say until a permanent solution is worked out, there's not much that can be done to stop it from happening again and again. Yeah, this couple says they've been dealing with the problem for 15 years and they're desperate for help. Charlie and Donna Duckworth say this is a common sight behind their Robertsdale home on Oak Hillcrest Drive anytime it rains. Anytime we get over an inch and a half or two inches of rain, it, it starts bubbling up right here. Dried toilet paper still stuck to the ground following the latest sewer overflow in April. Whenever it rains, she gets her camera ready, capturing and documenting each incident so the city stays aware of the problem. Once the storm passes, they stay inside, disgusted at the sight and smell across the property. We see raw sewage, we smell raw sewage, and you can imagine anything that goes down the toilet, you see it. And it flows right into our creek. Last year, the city of Robertsdale announcing a $14 million improvement project to stop frequent overflows like this across the city. Mayor Charles Murphy says they're still working on the design to address the problems, and they hope to go out for bid this summer. The Duckworths say that can't happen soon enough. It's frustrating when you see new things being done, sidewalks being put, put in, and new roads being put in, new subdivisions being put in. We just want, we just want it fixed. Nearby College Avenue is also a common spot for sewer overflows. Mayor Murphy says even one overflow is too many, and he's urging residents to be patient while the improvement project moves forward. For the Duckworths, that means more waiting and dealing with problems like this until crews come out and ultimately fix what's happening. In Robertsdale, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.